Oh, they might be attacked before the murder. We pick out your mic, girly. No, sit down. This is the group entering the base of the murder. We. This is how we do it at Flesh Will Learn. Men's edition. Pagacha here, the big favourite. Given a huge chance to win this. No Roglic, no Alaphilippe, no Valverde. He should have been drafted in. I don't care if he's doing gravel races. This is Flesh Will Learn with the customary murder. We finish. They do it two times before. 1K, 11%. The Code de Charave before. It's, a, it's actually a pretty difficult climb. Anyway, he was the early morning's break, 140 k to go. Zimmerman and Kra Anderson were the two men to make it the longest out of that move. And UAE put on a clinic today with Groshan early and Staker Langan controlling. This is first murder. We Israel were going for Mike Woods, who's obviously been very, very good in this race, and it's the finish that suits him probably the best. And yet UAE just locked this down and... They rode it perfectly, uh, controlling when they needed to, keeping the gap to the brake tight, pushing on now the second last murder we just a little bit more with Bennett, and then Battistella and Volta try and slip into a move, do a little sneaky sneaky. And because of Bennett's level and Ulysses level here and them being active throughout the group, Pagacha doesn't have to respond. So if you look now in this still, there's UAE guys each five riders, and that's Pog at the end. He's just able to do his watts and not really have to respond to anything directly when he doesn't want to on the second Murdui. And then Bennett, I think, let the wheel go and let Battistella bridge across the break. No problem for Vika too. That's manageable now with one lap to go and 34 Ks to go. So Vika and Battistella are pretty strong. Vika gets across the breakaway. UAE then, there's a crosswind section with 30 Ks to go. Here she's on the front looking at Ulysses. They're attentive. They kind of put it in the gutter a little bit. And so UAE weren't trying to blow the doors off everybody, but they were making the race. They were pushing in moments where it was a little bit harder, like in the crosswinds if people were out of position at the back. They were pushing at the base of Shereva on steeper sections when Pagacha was in good position. They were keeping this now four-man move in check. And here in the overhead, Pagacha actually, though, the one mistake maybe he was a little bit deep in this fast run in Paulus too, even though EF were at the front. And this is Pagatra, I believe, here, just behind this Movistar rider without any of his teammates around him. And he narrowly avoids crashing. The Movistar rider just falls in front of him straight down. Now, Pagatra was already breaking a little bit, but he escapes disaster. I don't know how he didn't crash, but just like in the Denmark stage last year, he held it up somehow. And that, that's a skill, but Nielsen Paulus wasn't so lucky. It was Raw House to our rider, by the way, that went down. Paulus, EF's maybe co-leader or leader, probably a bit better on this finish than Healy. He's out of this race, even though he didn't look too banged up. Thankfully, he crashed in Amstel Gold race too, but losing time here with Omen kicking it off. And once again, who's in this move of four, meaning Pagacha can sit in behind and not overreact? George Bennett's right there, UAE, covering these moves, shutting it down. So Pagacha and UAE obviously had a plan in this race. The plan wasn't to go too early, but they knew that other teams and riders would try and anticipate like Omen was there, and they just did a fantastic job locking it down so their man could do the business on the final climb. But Vavaka perhaps sees this sign on the side of the Cote de Charave and says, well, if you insist, attacks the Battistella and Soren Cryer and Anderson, and he's going to be the last man to be caught before, I think just before Murder Wee. And here you go. You ain't on Charave. It's not Pagatra attacking. It's Ulysses in here. She obviously the plan to do a hard lead out and just make this hard. And it's not this is not to keep Vavaka in in check or bring him back immediately. Healy's the EF rider in third wheel. They're just trying to make the climb hard, sap the legs of the other riders because, as we know from Tour of Flanders, I'm still gold race. In the hardest of these hill races, Pagatch is the one that usually comes out on top. So why not make it as hard as possible if you can and keep it under control without burning your team before Murder Wee? Because you've got to have men for the run in. He is he or she. He does the lead out for Pagatch, bringing him in in good position. There's no quick step train for Alaphilippe of old. Yumbo Visma's Benoit, though, is fighting for Pog's wheel. I think it might be Schielmo, the Jensen to his left, or, or Molomo, or Chikane. I don't know. There's three trek riders, all of whom are named there in the front three. Lutschenko is going to come across from the right and fight for Pog's wheel for ben Benoit. He'll obviously lose that wheel, wheel later, but not helpful for Benoit. Woods, though, magic position for him. Maybe the best position he's ever entered the murder we in, and that was a great job by his team, Israel Premier Tech, and Nayland's, I think it might have been for, for Israel. And it's Sheffield that goes to the front. 
for doing a hard lead out for Pidcock, kind of where Enric Mas moved up for Bala. Uh, in years past, Lefay is just behind. I think you know, Martin, they look identical. And Bade scoots up the right. And I, I want, probably the race wouldn't have been any different. Pogs still wins, but that huge loss of momentum by Bade with Woods being there's no space being between Woods and the barriers just that costs you so much. Nogliano carried that momentum and Bade was flying. So who would have responded? Probably Pogaccio straight away onto the wheel or maybe Woods, I don't know. But Woods and Pog kind of half-wheel each other through this uh, S-bend where it's 19 20%. We've got Pidcock sliding back now. Lefay moving up. Benoit is on Chavez wheel. Aaron Baru there for Movistar and Mas not having his best. Probably Flesh will own and Pidcock now trying to move up the other side, but then struggling by day. Then goes once he gets clear air, fog on the wheel, still looking calm. Woods after Bardet sits down, attacks around the outside, or tries to attack around the outside of Bardet, but this is when Pog kicks on the narrower inside, and he's away. Gap to the wheel. Chicone, I think, loses it. Schelmoser Jensen's coming around the right-hand side of Mike Woods with Bardet moving back. Lander, though, I mean, a bit surprising, but he's been in fantastic shape this year. He's going to fight for a valiant third, unable to come out of Schelmoser's wheel, but Pog does the business. Tour of Flanders. Amstel Gold Race, Flesh Willone, three on the trot, Liège, Baston Liège this Sunday. Remco's coming down from the mountain, but Pog's still going to be the favourite for that race. Can anyone beat this man in these sort of hill classics? Not at the moment. Wins ahead of Jensen, Skelmos Jensen, Landa, Woods, Ciccone, Lafay, a nice result for Lafay. Benoit, seventh. Van Hill's also a nice result, eighth. And Bade and Bagui rounding out the top ten. Here's what Pagacha had to say after the stage. Yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah, a different race uh, on Sunday, a bit longer climbs. Now I'm uh, all season already on uh, short, shorter climbs, but still I have uh, yeah great shape, great form. But I think Remco coming from uh, altitude and some other guys coming more fresh as well. I think it's gonna be yeah um, one of the best, the most competitive races uh, of, of this season. I think so. But a really good performance from UAE overall. Of course, Pog was a favourite to do the business, and he did it, but he made it look easy. But, you know, they did a really good job before that point, and, and you don't just walk up to the base of Murdoe. It's a difficult race before in Fleshwell and in Hilly. So good job by then, and I'll see you with the Liège recaps on Sunday. Ciao.